Hey folks, Randy Go, Trout Magnum Man with you here today. Today, folks, I'm going to talk about uh, the two aging rods I have left. We're going to talk about aging rods, what they're for, uh, whether you need one, whether you want one. Um, back when I first got into JDM rods, uh, I ordered quite a few uh, aging rods. Uh, I knew they were sensitive. Uh, I did not know before I ordered one just exactly how rigid these rods are, and they're extremely rigid. Uh, that's to give them the extra sensitivity that's required to catch the horse mackerel, which is only a tiny fish. It's only about, from what I understand, it's only about seven to eight inches is the average size they catch with these rods. And they need a rod that's super sensitive uh, and they need a rod that's extremely fast to get a quick hook set in these fish because evidently it's pretty hard to catch these things. Uh, but uh, from what I gather, they, they love to eat them and they love to catch them. Uh, so when I got into this, I ordered just a whole bunch of aging rods. I've owned, uh, uh, cross ride rods, sky road, Yamaga blanks, TZ, uh, what's something else uh, I've ordered. I've, I've had a couple other, I've had some cross crustage, I think it was, uh, I've had quite a few aging rods. I'm now down to only two aging rods and I don't fish with them. Uh, one of them I don't fish with because it is what I would consider a collector's item. This is the Mega Bass Shoreluck Limited 6.8 Ultralight Solid Tip Model. Uh, this rod is a thing of beauty. You're going to see a little short uh, video I'm going to insert in here where I took a video of this uh, marbling and of the thread wrap here. Hey folks, we're gonna to try to get a close up of the Mega Bass rod here. You can see the thread on the butt. You see that beautiful marbling coming up there. Gorgeous reel seat, graphite inserts. And you can see this beautiful thread wrapping here. This is absolutely just a gorgeous rod, folks. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how well this come out, but we'll see. The butt of this rod is thread wrapped. I mean, it is, it is truly a, a thing of beauty. It really is. This rod weighs three ounces, six foot eight inches. As you can see, this rod is very fast, extremely fast. I mean, it just that's just the nature of aging rods. Uh, while you can have fun catching bluegill with this rod, it's, it's not as fun as, say, using an area trout rod or my Bayrou rod or the new uh, uh, lineup of rods that they've come out now called the hybrid uh, light game rods. Uh, but I quit using this rod. I haven't fished with it in years. I mean, a lot of years, uh, because I'm afraid I was going to break it. And it's one of those rods you like to take out and just look at, uh, for me anyway. Now I need to get it out and fish it. Uh, I really do. Uh, I, I, you know, I can't even remember how it fished. Just to tell you the truth, it's been so long. I know it's extremely sensitive, uh, but I need to get it out and fish with it. I need to. Uh, uh, especially now that I'm using the varivis lines to uh, put some ester line through this, these guys, which is what these rods are designed for, is your uh, ester lines and your uh, fluorocarbon lines, uh, and get out and fish with it uh, a lot more than what I have done. Uh, but uh, it is an absolute thing of beauty. You cannot get them. They, you can't find these anymore. I got this rod on sale. I think I paid, at the max, I think I paid $250 for it. I, know, I think I paid a little bit less than that. It was a $500 rod or $480 or something like that when uh, I bought it, but it was on sale and I had no clue what it was. I just decided to order it and uh, I'm glad I did order it. I'm glad I got it. Uh, if nothing else, this will be something to leave my son uh, when I'm no longer here uh, and he can pick up this and say, hey, dad left me this, but it, it's an absolutely gorgeous rod. And all of this, uh, if I didn't say, this thread wrapping and this uh, uh, thread wrapping here, is one of the reasons this rod weighs uh, three ounces, which, you know, for an ultralight rod and today's blanks, uh, that's pretty heavy. The other rod, aging rod that I currently still own, is one of the very first rods I got. It's a Major Craft Cruiser, six foot five inch hard model. I had no clue when I ordered this rod what it was. It has the uh, Torzide inserts also, the same as the uh, Mega Bass with the titanium frames. This rod is an absolute beast. This rod weighs three and a half ounces. I mean, it's just an absolute beast. The very first video I did on YouTube, I was using this rod to catch white bass, and I'll put a link up here somewhere uh, to that video. You can watch this rod in action. 
Uh, it's a fantastic rod for something like white bass. Uh, it's not so good with bluegill. Yeah, yeah, you can catch all the bluegill you want with it, but you're not gonna have a lot of fun. As you can see, this rod is super fast, just like the, uh, and probably more so than the, uh, the mega bass, but it's extremely fast. Uh, but I've caught a lot of fish with this rod. I used to use it all the time. Uh, haven't used it so much in the past couple of years. Uh, but it, I mean, it's, you know, you don't want to take this out fishing for bluegill. I've caught a lot of trout with this rod. Uh, I've caught a ton of white bass with this rod. I've caught largemouth. I've caught smallmouth. I used to go to Dale Hollow with this rod, fishing for smallmouth. Um, you can't say it's really an ultralight. It's not. The The max uh, pound test line used on this is six pounds. Uh, I think this can cast a, uh, let's see here. This can cast a 12 gram jig head or 12 gram lure. Uh, that's pretty heavy. Uh, but uh, this come out of Major Craft Work Studio uh, that they have in uh, Vietnam. Uh, it, it, it's a super rod. Uh, it's just that, you know, I'm a bluegill fisherman uh, and it's not a lot of fun to uh, go after bluegill with this rod. Now, those are the rods I currently own that are aging rods. Like I said, I've owned others in the past, Yamaga Blanks TZ which was a, a more fun rod to fish with. It was extremely sensitive, extremely lightweight. Caught a ton of smallmouth with the Yamaga Blanks TZ. Uh, fished a, a little bit with the uh, 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 cross ride. Uh, not much. Uh, uh, I sold that rod pretty quick after I had it. It was a seven, over seven foot, seven foot three model, I think it was. I had some Sky Roads. Uh, the Sky Road was one of the first rods, rods I bought when I got into JDM rods. But I decided to, you know, um, not to order any more aging rods because they're just they're just too rigid, at least for what I'm doing. Now, I say that I'm looking at a couple of aging rods now. They are so lightweight compared to these older models. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, Eradicator uh, prototype, which is it, it, it actually is probably considered a hybrid light game rod. But uh, you got some uh, others out there that are still aging. The, the uh, Duo Tetra, I believe it is. Uh, that's, that's, an, that's a true aging rod. Uh, I think it weighs 37 grams or something like that. Uh, so you'd be better served if you're gonna get an aging rod to get these newer models. Uh, like I said, these, these models here are eight, nine years old. They, they've been around a long time, but they're still great rods. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but I, I wouldn't recommend the Truser to anybody. Uh, it's just it's just too heavy a rod. If you could find you a Mega Bass Shore Luck Limited at a decent price, which you're not, you ain't gonna find them anywhere. They're they're gone. They're, nobody has them for sale. Uh, but there are many more aging rods out there. If you want to get into aging rods, you want the utmost sensitivity, um, the utmost in uh, uh, action of fast action rods or very fast action rods. That's the rod you want to get if that's what you're looking for. You're not gonna have a lot of fun with smaller fish on those rods. But anyway, I wanted to come on here and tell you about aging rods, what they're used for. They're used for horse mackerel to catch seven, eight inch fish on the average size. They're extremely sensitive. If you need a rod to, with extreme utmost sensitivity, uh, look at an aging rod. Look at one of the newer model aging rods. Uh, you'll get the utmost sensitivity there, but what you're gonna lack is the flexibility and the fun factor uh, compared to a eradicator slow taper special or a high-end area trout rod, which is going to give you a whole lot more fun and going to give you almost the same amount of sensitivity. So anyway, folks, uh, hope all of you are well. Hope all of you are healthy. Hope that the weather is decent where you live because it's not decent here. Uh, I was able to get out and fish. Uh, uh, I looked at the TVA app and it said Normandy, the flow was at 61 cubic feet a second. I said, that has to be a mistake uh, because it had been 13. 1300 cubic feet a second the day before we've had a ton of rain and i said that's 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 wrong but i decided to load up a rod an extra ultralight rod and head over there and i'm glad i did and i'll be getting that video up uh, pretty soon uh it's where i uh, tailored the rod to the fish i figured i was gonna catch a bunch of small fish and that's what i caught a bunch of trout from seven to eleven inches but i tell you what the uh the extra ultralight made it a, a whole lot of fun so anyway, folks, uh, as I said, hope all of you are doing well. Hope you're safe. Uh, hope you're catching fish. Hope you're healthy. And uh, so until next time, soil up them all, and life is good.